So recently, a listener to my podcast sent me a question about graphite shafted irons and what's the difference. So you know what? I thought I'd team up with my good friends at Golf Bidder to put a full set of graphite shafted clubs in my bag and go and play golf with them and tell you what the difference is with graphite shafted irons. Okay, so I'm here at the golf course. It's early in the morning and I've got a full set of graphite shafted clubs in the bag. Let's talk about what I've got. My fairway wooden driver as standard is what I normally use. Then I've got a ping crossover in the bag with an alter shaft in it. And irons wise, I've got four down to pitching wedge in the eye blades. Now I have had the eye blades in the bag before in steel shafted, but these are now in the stock ping graphite shafts, which I'm excited to use. They definitely feel a little bit lighter, which I will come to on in a minute. Then I've got a utility wedge, which is a ping I-500 again, alter shaft in there. And then two wedges. I've got a Voki SM6 with a Kuru Kage shaft in. This will be really interesting for me. Using wedges with kind of soft, lighter shafts will be really interesting. And then also I've got a lob wedge in a ping glide wedge. And this is also has the alter shaft in. So they are the clubs I've got in the bag today. I'm going to play some holes and see what I find. I've never done this with full set of graphite clubs before. Oh, the benefit of graphite is typically the lighter. They're, they can help a player generate more club head speed. But the downside typically is that you might hit it more to the right, more to the left, more up in the air. And the last thing, and this is a big factor for a lot of players, graphite is typically more expensive. Like you can add on quite a chunk to a set if you opted for graphite shafts. I'm going to play on the golf course today and see what I find, the pros and cons. I'm really intrigued, I am honestly, because I just think, what, what am I going to find on the golf course today? And potentially, what I want to be able to tell you guys is, should more golfers be using graphite shafts as opposed to steel? So without further ado, let's tee it up. Let's play some golf with this full set of graphite shafted clubs. So this club won't feel any different because it's my own driver. So let's hope we get off to a strong start. I have come to play today. That was a good tee shot, strong start. So after smoking that driver on this par five, annoyingly, <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to hit my own wood again. I'm gonna have to hit my own three wood. We'll get to these other clubs in a moment. Let's, uh, let's hit a good one of these first. By the way, these clubs were supplied by my good friends at Golf Bidder. Guys, if you've not checked Golf Bidder out, it's definitely worth doing. You can buy secondhand golf clubs on there. The stock they have on the website is incredible. And also, you can actually exchange and sell your old golf clubs online. Guys, check out Golf Bidder. They've supplied the clubs for this video. The link is in the top line of the description below, just below that like button. While you're down, down there, smash that as well. Right, we're gonna be able to use one of the graphite shafted wedges now. I'm excited, I'm intrigued. So to be honest, this isn't my favorite shot in the world. Short of the green, I'm quite short turf, but if I hit a bad one now, I've got an excuse because I could blame the club. First feels, and I think this is gonna be quite a similar trend throughout this video, is how much lighter this club feels. Like the, the head, you can almost feel where the head is a lot more just because of how light the shaft is. It does look quite smart actually, I like it in this finish. Right, little 56 degree Voki SM6. Let's try and stick it close. Stop. I played it aggressively. It felt, just on that first shot with this shaft, it felt like I could generate a little bit more speed. I know it was only a short shot, but it felt like I could almost whip the club through a little bit quicker. It's not a bad shot. I've set myself up for a birdie on this first hole. It was a decent shot, not my worst. Very nice, good start. <laughs> Let's get on to the par three next. So I'm here on the 14th hole, the par three. 
And I've got two identical heads of the ping eye blades, both in seven iron, but one is with the graphite and I've got one in a steel. Weight wise, there's a big difference. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna hit the steel iron first, just as a bit of a benchmark, and then hit four or five with the graphite shafted iron as well, just so I can see, is there any truth in this idea that graphite shafts are a little bit harder to control? We'll see if that's the case. Let's set up and I'll hit this one first. I might just have to hit one more with this club because that first one was dreadful. <laughs> it wasn't, didn't even get close to the green. I'll hit one more. That's a nicer shot. That felt really good. We'll use the first one as a little bit of a warm up shot. <laughs> right, moving on to the graphite. First thing, you can tell is the difference in weight. Like the, the shaft is considerably lighter. As I mentioned with the wedge shot before, it almost makes the head feel heavier. I'm intrigued to see what that feels like throughout the swing. Let's hit a few shots with this graphite shafted eye blade, both seven irons. See if I can pick up much of a difference in performance. Well, that's quite a nice shot. I hit it clean. That actually finished really nicely. Wasn't my best hit, but the result was very good. Oh, slightly to the right. Should catch a bit of the green still. Yeah, only just. Not bad. Oh, that looks really good. Get up a little bit. Get up. Very nice. <laughs> So there are three shots so far with the graphite shafted club. Results are okay. The first one and the last one were very nice. Second one wasn't the best. The one thing I'm noticing that's a difference is the club sounds different. Like whether that's the way that the wave, the sound waves almost come up the shaft, it sounds like a different hit. They actually sound better struck. They actually sound a slightly more deader noise. I like that. I'm gonna go two more into this green. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> Loving that shot, that was my favorite so far. Oh, that's another really good shot. Go on then, get up there, go in. <gasps> Wowzers. <laughs> they are unbelievable. So performance wise, I can't fault those shots. Like I hit one bad one out of five, but the other four were fantastic. Flight wise, a tiny bit higher, tiny bit. No different whatsoever from what I can see on distance. But the standout characteristic that I saw or heard from this club was the sound. I've been lucky enough to stand on the driving ranges of open championships of major events. And when a tour pro hits a golf shot, it sounds different to, you know, normal golfers. That to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, hopefully you can hear it on the video, that sounded more like a crack that a tour player hits with. It sounded really good. Very impressed with the performance. Right, I'm gonna pick those up and we've got four more holes to play. Let's see if we can go under par the last four holes using all graphite shafted clubs. I'm excited now. They were so good. That last one was so close to going in. So we got down to the green just before we pick these up. Little humble brag, and I will repair these. Check out the pitch marks. Like I've literally peppered the hole all the way around it. Some must have been close there. Give you some ideas. My first steel one was off the green right. Dreadful, like properly off the green. My second steel one was one of these, I think. I think it might have been this one. And then check this out, one, two, three, four, five with the graphite clubs. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's this stigma that graphite isn't as consistent. I'll be honest, that's pretty impressive. Like, I'm really happy with that dispersion. Yeah, can't complain about that at all. Right, repair these pitch marks and we'll get on the next tee. 
So here we go, four hole challenge. Let's see if we can get under par. So three holes played and I'm level par. I've just got the last hole to play this 18th hole par five. Hopefully get under par. Now I've not hit loads and loads of shots with these clubs granted, but I have got a really nice insight into what graphite clubs feel like after that bit of testing. You know what, I actually really like them. You know, it surprised me. As I mentioned at the start, I didn't massively know what to expect. I thought I was gonna see worse dispersion. That's not been the case. I've hit it fairly straight and on that par three you saw before, that was unbelievable. Um, Feel-wise, lighter, naturally. Sound, I would say it's better with these, honestly. It's got like a more crispy, like a tour player noise. And honestly, in my bag, genuinely, it's felt like I've had half a set in the bag today just because they are so much lighter. Downside, they're more expensive. You know, for a full set of graphite irons, you are chunking on quite a big amount compared to steel. However, if you are interested in a new set of irons, I wouldn't rule graphite out. It might suit a lot more players. You might pick up more club head speed. It might feel better for you. So do not just instantly rule it out. I've enjoyed playing with these. I really have. Thanks again to my good friends at Golf Bidder for setting this video up. The last hole I'm gonna play with irons only. So just using the, the graphite shafted irons. Let's see if we can make birdie on the last. If I do guys, you gotta like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and let's see if we can birdie this last hole. <laughs> 